Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and I have some disturbing breaking news and the press conference is still going on right now. John Kirby from the Pentagon just announced that 8,500 troops have just put on standby because of the tensions growing in Russia. They started evacuating the embassy over there. We don't know if maybe talks are starting to break down. We don't know if they're getting inside intel that states that maybe Russia is going to push it and go across the border. We don't know how our government's going to respond, but obviously if they're putting 8,500 troops to start with on standby, that's not a good thing, folks. It's really not. On Tensions in this world are at an all-time high. It doesn't seem like people want to try to work out differences. It doesn't seem like there is a end in sight, does there? I mean, it's just one thing after another. Now we have 8,500 troops that are probably preparing and are going to be deployed to somewhere closer to the problem area, one would have to think. Now, they may be getting some of these troops and stuff from some of the bases that are over in Europe already. We don't know that. Those troops may be coming from Germany or wherever. The bottom line is, folks, this is just getting to be a very scary world that we live in. And I would really urge everyone out there to really sit back and take a look and see what you have in your preps and make sure your preps are topped off as much as possible. Because if something majorly happens and Russia does decide to... Um, tiptoe across the border and we don't know what our response is going to be yes they said sanctions and all this is what the government was saying and the president was saying and all this well if you're going to be doing the sanctions and all these different things why are we all of a sudden putting 8500 troops on standby Something doesn't smell right. It doesn't really take a rocket scientist to figure things out, folks. I mean, you can put two, two and two together and uh, you get four. At least most people do. So if you're one of these people that believe that, well, you know, the government said they're going to do sanctions and everything else. And uh, they did make a comment that they uh, were not going to be putting boots on the ground. But here we are, we got 8,500 troops that are on standby. So it's a lot of boots on the ground. For what? Are we going over there again to uh, turn around and fight something that we shouldn't even be involved in here, folks? I mean, come on, let's just really think about this. So I wanted to bring you this breaking news. I'd want you to really sit back and think about what you have check your preps because if something happens and we start having troops that are uh, going to war or defending a country or whatever they're going to be doing because we don't know well on top of everything else things are going to get crazy it's a crazy crazy world and we have to be prepared for whatever it could be. I'm telling you folks, what's next? What is next? And I guess that's why you want to be prepared because we don't know what's next. Now do we? So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this quick video today. Get out there, check your preps, get whatever you can. Because we don't know where this thing's going and every day it just gets hotter and hotter. And I don't see anybody throwing any water on this fire anytime soon. 
because it seems like somebody has an agenda and they're really going to push it. So God bless America. God bless our troops. I pray that they stay safe and I pray they never have to touch the ground over there. It's the last thing we need at this point. Till next time, folks. Catch you all on the flip side. Thank you.